What up YouTube? This is the man 7431 coming back with another video. And today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be telling you guys the difference between Android and Apple iPhone. Now, for a long time, there's been a lot of talk about which phone is better, Android or Apple. Android or Apple. And today I'm going to solve this for you guys so you don't have to keep wondering and, you know, asking yourself, which one should I get if you ever go to an AT&T store, a um, Sprint store, T-Mobile store, Verizon store, or any of the generic carriers. Now, I basically had both an iPhone and an Android device. Um, after playing with these devices for years, switching back from Android to iPhone, Android to iPhone, at the end of the day, I ended up with an Android phone again. So, I'm going to basically explain to you guys the differences in these devices. And we're going to start with the iPhone. The iPhone basically is a device where you can download applications from the app store you can play games um, you can email you can text message um, you can use skype um, you can do um, video calling um, that's pretty much it. I mean, besides your basic calculator, um, other cool apps you can download from the store. Now, I will say that Apple does have way better apps than Android or any other iOS device out there. Um, and this is one of the reasons why I recently got my iPod Touch back again, um, because there were some applications that you can't get on Android that I was missing when I had my iPod Touch the first time. So this is the reason why I have my iPod Touch again because there are applications that you can't get on Android that are exclusively for Apple and the App Store. But other than that, that's pretty much all you can do. Text, make phone calls, um, video chat, um, download a lot of really cool apps in the app store. Um, you can check your email. I think I mentioned that before. Um, you can jailbreak your device, download tons of third party applications. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel and haven't checked out my videos, I've got tons of videos on, um, cool tweaks that you can do with your iPod Touch. If you haven't checked that out, just search my channel, subscribe, and you will see all those cool videos. But I'm not going to go into that right now. I just want to go over what each device can do, and that's pretty much it that's going to be in this video. Now, over to Android. Android is one of the reasons why I switched back over to it because Android is basically a full fledged computer in your pocket. And the reason why I say that is because anything you can do on a computer, you can do on an Android smartphone. Um, and I'm going to give you an example. One day, um, money was tight for me and I wasn't able to have um, internet services anymore. My internet was down. Um, I didn't have a home phone. I was pretty much screwed. So um, I needed to download a file for my um, computer. I had Windows 7 at the time and I needed a certain file to download on my computer and um, at the time I didn't have internet at home so there was no way for me to download this file to get my computer to work properly 
So at my job, we have Wi-Fi. So when I went to work that next day, I went to um, Windows website and I downloaded the file directly to my Android phone and I saved the file to my SD card. I then went home, installed the SD card into my phone, well, installed the SD card, sorry guys, installed the SD card into my computer and install the files from the SD card into my computer and my computer start working properly again. Now, I tried to do that with my iPhone, well actually my iPod Touch because I had both devices at one time, um, at the same time. And um, the iPhone will take you to the website, but it won't let you download any files. Now that's one example there. Another example is um, Android has an open source. Open source means that it's open to basically let you download whatever your heart desires. Um, I'm going to use another example. Um, my Nintendo Wii is um, has been basically. Um, um, I don't know what you call it, homebrewed, I guess is what you call it. And I was needing to download some um, NES games, Super NES games, all of this stuff. Now, keep in mind, again, I didn't have internet at home. So, you know, by me being at work and we had Wi-Fi, I was able to go to a Pacific website, download the ROMs I need, save it to the SD card on my Samsung Galaxy S3. When I got home that evening, I installed the um, SD card into the computer, took those ROMs off the SD card, and then I took the memory card out of my Wii, stuck it into the computer, transferred those ROMs onto the SD card, stuck it back in my Wii, turned on the Wii, and I started to play those games that I downloaded from my job on Wi-Fi, on my Samsung Galaxy S3, on the SD card, took those files from the SD card, stuck them into my computer, transferred them over to the SD card from the Wii, and now, I have all these ROMs from, you know, my Samsung Galaxy S3 phone onto my Wii now. Now, see, you can't do that with a iPhone or an iPad or anything like that because, um, sorry for the screen going out, guys, but, um, and then I gotta put the code in. Let me go ahead and do that. But one of the reasons why I like Android because it is again, it's it's open source. Um, Android devices are rootable, so you can root the device. It's similar to a jailbreak, and it's basically the same. The only difference is there's no Cydia. So, you know, with Cydia, you know, you can just click onto it and you can go into a third party um, application and it has like tons of third party apps and stuff that you can go in and download and you can use on your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch. Now, the Samsung Galaxy S3 or Android devices, those particular devices, you have to root it, and then you can go into the um, Android market and you can find rooted, rooted device, I mean, rooted application, sorry. You can find rooted applications that work for rooted devices in there. And they've got a lot of really cool 
um, applications only for rooted devices, which is really cool um, that you can download as well. And I don't know what's going on with Cydia here, <laughs> but um, it usually doesn't do this. City has been acting up lately, so I don't know what's been going on. I don't know if they've been updating it or what, but this is what I've been running into kind of here recently. So, um, with all that aside, guys, um, I, if I had to pick what device I wanted to take with me and a device that I would rather use, I would definitely go for the Android device over the iPhone. Um, even though um, when it comes to um, applications, games, things of that nature, Apple has a bigger advantage because they have a lot of exclusive applications that are only on their device that are really good and I like and that's one of the reasons why I go back to Apple but when I actually leave the house and go to work every day the main device that I have in my pocket is the Android the Samsung Galaxy S3 this is the main device that I'm always carrying with me and I'm always using because you know you never know when you need to download a file um, on the fly you never know when you need to to just get any kind of information that the Android will let you get but the iPhone won't you know there's so many different boundaries and so many things that you can not do with the iPhone that you can actually do with Android 